uh, game. Uh, with that said, uh, there has been developments, and they kind of do trade pretty often. Numbers, I think, generally has this account between the two of them. However, with that said, um, th th this is a slog, and they have played a ludicrous amount of times um, in every season, really. Oh, I mean, we're just going to have to go ahead and get into this game where we're kind of starting out a little bit swinging. Like, we're kind of having a little bit of a fast-paced game. As fast as it could get. Like, let's be, let's be yeah. completely honest. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, these two characters, of course, are not going to be the most fast of, of pace. Uh, with that said, though, since you're looking pretty good, uh, we've seen so far, again, of course, Numbers already has the awareness to roll through the Hydrant um, to not get punished. Utilizing the, the run-through speed up there after um, going through Hydrant. But that's pretty big damage for Shinji, 78% on the Galaxian combo. 28% for, for Numbers in return, though. Um, however, Shinji does have Numbers in that corner. Um, gonna pose a threat, make it difficult for Numbers to get out. However, we do know, of course, how much Numbers loves the corner. Um, oh, we're chilling. Oh, we're on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Period. Oh, oh! Oh! Q? Okay. Okay, We got period. item combos. I definitely love, as we were talking about, like, you know, the kind of you know, evolution of this match is kind of when it just kind of went from being very, you know, slow, of course, pace. But now we're kind of seeing John being a little bit more aggressive, and I definitely love the way that he's been, you know, interacting with a lot of things. Again, like, as you said, with Hydrant, just trying to get through as fast as possible and trying to, like, mainly displace a lot of, like, wherever Sinji wants to be. If Sinji was in the corner, he wants to, like, force him into a situation where he's just not in the corner. He has to actually be in the air, and now that's a very bad position, and we don't want to see that, right? So it's definitely a very good evolution. And speaking of evolutions, that F Smash is going to send Sinji right back off stage. And ah! yeah, super scary situation currently coming out for both players in that corner. Oh, okay, okay good. The, the Hydrant just appeared. Big, uh, huge left shot there by Sinji. Covered so many options. Really not much of a place for John to go. Even hanging on ledge, I think, would have gotten caught. But a quick F tilt, utilizing the invincibility and utilizing the power of deep breathing to end that stock off did John. Quick dash attack, back in the corner against Sinji. Oh, bear. Ooh. Okay, we're back on stage for both players. Okay, once again, John numbers are coming back to that stage. We are staying at the ledge, folks. However, with that said, we are at a relatively fast pace. We're not at a timeout pace right now for both of these players. So looking good on that front. Um, John really catching these landings really well. The jump-ins from Sinji are, I think, becoming a little bit on the more predictable side. Jumping in with those dare, jumping in. Um, and numbers really have to spend on top of that with the soccer ball, with uh, the weakness trainers tilts, which do have a decent amount of priority on them. Ooh, we're charging this up. Ooh, roll read in. Yeah, numbers. Just, oh, oh, all approaches are being stopped by John Numbers. Oh, wow. We've been seeing a lot of those, you know, again, um, approaches being stuffed, but I just really love the way that John is going about actually catching a lot of these landings, not really trying to do a little bit too much. We saw that he did use um, grab a lot of times to kind of just force Sinji back into another bad situation, keeping the combo going. And as we're seeing right now, it's like not even going to matter at that point. Like, we're, we're literally having Sinji laugh. Like, this is a little bit scary for Sinji because unless he can kind of force, you know, a bit of a stalemate situation where John can kill, but he can't kill either, it's going to be a really long set we have ahead of us. Yeah, and the thing with Numbers is, and I mentioned to the, uh, this to you, Jazzy, before we started commentating, was that if Numbers is going to win, he needs to do it fast. Uh, at least fast for the, 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 the way that these sets are played. Sinji, of course, wants to play that passive game against uh, John and has tried to do so thus far. However, John has continually put that pressure on, continually read any approach that Sinji might have, and has really punished it hard. However, John is in the corner right now, and that is going to be a stock with the dare. That is a huge bit of base knockback on that move that takes stocks relatively early. However, right there, going to be an incredibly valuable stock for Sinji to get back into this game. The pressure with Hydrant, and John's going to retreat right back into that corner. Absolutely. And speaking about a lot of the pressure, that was actually one of the few times that we actually saw John Numbers died to an edge guard. Yeah, and kind of a misguided recovery there by Sinji going high on that one. John's going to be ready for that parry at every time. Get the F and John knows all too well. The super armor on Pac-Man's side B doesn't last as long as you think it does. Um, it's, it's, it's easier to challenge that move than you'd imagine. It's still tough, don't get me wrong. Um, but the, the super armor doesn't last nearly as long after the pellet. And you can actually see right here, um, the pellet was already eaten for a decent amount of time. John's like, okay, this is the point where the super armor ends. Parry, F-Jolt, 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And John's going to take that stock and move on with a 1-0 lead into game number two. Absolutely, and I'm definitely really excited to see what Sinji is actually going to be doing about a lot of these edge guarding situations because there's been a lot of times where John would just be super comfortable with getting back to stage with the resources that he has and not really stressing the fact that like Sinji's not really creating much of an issue and that was a very weird situation right there with the Hydrant. Yeah, and that's because multi-hits actually, generally speaking, will go straight through the Hydrant and then hit Pac-Man right afterward if he's dropping it right on top. Benefit from Smash 4, fun fact. Um, and... Um, yeah, so it, it numbers obviously with that matchup of knowledge going to be using Nair uh, when he's up there with Sinji and Sinji's going to click Hydrant out of disadvantage to really do that. That Sun does not cancel out the Hydrant hitbox. Numbers is going to get hit, has to get off the ledge. Sinji, again, the Lutchers have been pretty good thus far, but Numbers makes up game even stronger. Um, going to be able to get backstage Hydrant pressure onto Sinji. Immediate run up shield. Not going to work out though. Oh, that didn't catch the Glaxi. That was a important uh, miss by John. Oh, we got Schmix. Okay. Ooh. We got the, the fruit charge cancels into a grab. Ooh, wow. And we're definitely seeing a very good, you know, situation here for John. Not really, again, being too scared. The home, the ledge is his home, as we know. But I definitely also really want to talk about a lot of the times that, like, okay. ooh, John has been consistently, like, using a lot of, like, header to actually stuff a lot of approaches that we have. Like, right now, we're seeing it, obviously, again, because John's at the ledge, but a lot of the time, he'll just use header to stuff a lot of, like, you know, Pac-Man side B, you know, a lot of, like, Hydrant shenanigans. John will definitely use header to stop a lot of that, even when, like, you know, not at the corner. Ooh, and that RNG is super unfortunate. Drops the item there. Um, again, that is RNG. And it is going to cost John having that bell in hand and allow Sinji once again to charge fruit. John was really uh, doing what you have to do in this matchup is if you get the fruit, you start running the heck away from Pac-Man. Because Pac-Man has a, so many issues killing you without bell or without, like, key. So John playing that up so well. Armor's still out that time around, though. John not going to be able to take the sock off of Sinji. Looking for that roll-in. Sinji did roll in, but not quite far enough. Sun. No? Okay. I actually want to know something a little bit, too. We actually saw a lot of like situations like right there, uh, just the whole edge guarding situation overall, which is really good on like John's part. He actually used the trampoline, and he actually got a second um, header. I don't know if anyone noticed, but he actually got a second header, and that allowed for even more mix up because even after that, he still had his jump. And this is again another situation where we're seeing John being super comfortable, with, even wow. like off stage. You know, we have a lot of situations where John has to be at ledge, but also like recovering too. Since he's been putting so many like hit boxes at ledge and uh, consistently with the hydrants. Every time he uses hydrants, he miss it, he can go right back off and use hydrant again. And it really like shows a lot of the dynamic that's been going on and wow. Yeah, and that fruit again being transcended is really big um, for uh, Sinji there. Gonna allow him to take that stock with only a 59% deficit. Using that Galaxy down, not often something you see super often, but does allow him to get a little bit of percent on John before John does end up making it back to stage. And that again, fruit saving Sinji's skin there. Oh, quick bit of damage there. Gonna try and keep John in the corner. John does just run center stage. That is what I love about John, I think, in this game as compared to Smash 4. John used to just stay in the corner in Smash 4 and be really afraid to come out. When John sees an opening to take stage control, he takes it. And really show, showed that thus far. Looking once again now to maintain that stage control. Fruit. Oh, that was a bait and a half. Wow. Looking to get that fruit and grab it. Um, instead, jumps over it and then punishes Sinji with a jab. Absolutely, and I, again, coming to the point like we were talking about being, you know, John like used to stay in the corner the whole time, I also feel like it's a little bit of, you know, also us coming back from quarantine. We were on quarantine for a very long time, and I feel like Numbers kind of just has, like, developed a little bit more of a, like, new play style for himself other than just staying in the corner. You know, like, using it as more of a situation where he's doing it if he doesn't actually know what to do. He's really good at it, so might as well if you're like you know not in the lead or you don't know how to play a specific matchup or somebody's playing a specific matchup a different way. Ooh, that's drop out. So definitely a lot of way, and that was wow a really nice um, you know back air to kill that hydrant right there. Yeah, and this is a, a stock you need to take first as John, because um, if you look at the timer, um, we're two minutes and thirty seconds, and both players still have two stocks. So we're currently on pace for a timeout. Um, we'll see if it actually happens. Um, however, uh, th this, this, this needs to be a stock that you, as John Numbers, take before Sinji does. Um, 
Can you have to see it at 171? Oh! Oh, in the oh, back wow. though, a really, really smart confirmed right there by Sinji. Great awareness, and numbers are cheating with, okay, pressure. And this is a good position for Sinji to be in. Having having even just a small bit of percent uh, can Ooh. allow the stock, but John to be able to take that stock himself. Um, and folks, we are at that two minute mark. Both players at low percent. Um, th this might be a position where Sinji really starts to get defensive um, and, and, and worry less about taking that stock and more about uh, keeping the percent lead. 140, uh, 1 minute 40 seconds on that clock. John gonna have retreat shields and still getting hit by the apple and every bit of percent counts. And of course, John can heal and I think he's gonna take every opportunity that he can to do so. Quick parry, but Sinji ends up catching the Galaxian. Big damage, that's super huge thus far. For um, Sinji, nice using the, the the little boost there that you get from uh, Hydrant after running through it. Uh, nice by uh, John to have that recognition. Okay, some damage. Okay. Oh, oh, Ooh. we got Schmangles on the Hydrant. Absolutely, that was definitely a very good, you know, like take back from Sinji, taking that stock pretty well. Um, and then, actually, that kind of just, like, applies to a little bit more of the effect of, like, what we're going to actually see when it comes to this next game. Specifically because... Oh, that was Schmangles. Yeah, and then John did not react to, to the Hydra. So. Absolutely. But I definitely think we're going to see a little bit... <gasps> Get bombed, kid. Are we going to are we gonna see the song? I, I'm really praying that we're seeing going to see the song because it's definitely the Mega Man song that I always be talking about. If it's not, I'm... Probably gonna cry. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. Very sad. And, um, yeah. Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. It's shooting star. Y'all already know what it is. We Here. are back on FD. Um, this is not the music I wanna hear for number Sinji. I wanna hear something dark and menacing. Dark, dark this, and menacing? <laughs> this is this. <laughs> I want. I want to set the mood. Um, with that. With that said, Sinji off to a really strong start thus far. Uh, Fifty-four percent is a great uh, bit of percentage to have already onto John. That dare not going to be enough to break the Hydra. Would have been big there. Already putting some extra pressure onto John in the corner. Hydra once again out. Looking to pressure it. Apple's going to send that up. And the bounce of the apple cover the roll. However, John all too well aware and going to begin getting some percent of his own. Absolutely, and that was a very good patience on there from John. He's taking a little bit, of, a little bit of damage, but still able to kind of take a lot of that stage control and just kind of force a little bit of another situation where we are back on this stage, you know, or back in center stage. Wow, and th this is really how far this 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 match has come uh, in terms of these two players. Before we saw Hydra pressure into grab on on the shield, Sinji did that. Later on, just there in that interaction, instead of doing that, since he knows John's gonna roll and turns around and fares in the other direction. Like, it's just, they, they've played so much, they know so well each other's habits, and now it's just a matter of like willpower and strength as to see who is going to win between these two players. Absolutely, and we're definitely have to be very careful right here because John Death. has, or Sinji, sorry, Sinji had Bell, Sinji F smashed with Bell. Sinji killed with Bell? Absolutely not. He killed Hyde, though. Absolutely. And that is a huge stock. Only 40% on to Sinji. Oh, and you got hit by Key into Hydrant. Not Ooh. looking good right now for John. Um, mm -hmm. This uh, is looking uh, a little uh, scary. Uh -oh. Yeah, you're about to get lapped. I guess a little bit of the thing, too, was that a lot of the time, you know, John's been getting consistently stuffed out for a lot of things. A lot of things you saw in that first game where John would try to kill Hydrant with down air or John would try to kill, you know, or just run straight through it even. He's been consistently getting stuffed out for a lot of those options and uh, it's definitely been showing because, you know, that last game that Sinji won, Sinji definitely kept it very even, but now he's definitely really showing all of that he learned in this, you know, very s small few games, these three games from, you know, Sinji. And John, John. and John is already getting dangerously, dangerously close to that death percent margin for Bell into, um, oh, that's still active too. Yeah, John, you can't cancel out that hitbox. Uh, Hydrant is not a hitbox that um, gets canceled out by other moves, stays active for a really long time. Nice little mix up there by John to get back to stage. You need to take the stock off though. Um, you're already at that, like, close to 100% mark, okay. Quick back throw after the failed salute the sun, or rather um, deep breathing. John now has Sinji in that corner. Fair. 
hydrogen back down. Again, Sinj is going to be using that hydrogen as a wall of sorts to get around John. John uses that as an opportunity to get out deep breathing, but all the shield pressure, and John gets hit out of it. Nice little mix-up right there by Sinji with the up air to get back to stage, but the, the, the F-Tilt's going to be enough to send Sinji to the stage. That's a big stock for John. You now need to get some percent. You don't need to kill Sinji, but you need to get some percent before Sinji takes the stock off. Absolutely, and if we're going to be completely honest, I definitely feel like that is going to be a little bit hard of a task for John, specifically because John hasn't been getting his normal, you know, like combo follow-ups. John definitely has been struggling with a little bit, especially, you know, due to the nature of this match. John has to really, like, get that one, you know, tool that is going to absolutely put on a lot of damage. And right now, we're just not finding that specifically because of how Sinji has been playing. Nice. Okay, that's actually huge for John. This is the right around the amount of percent that you would have wanted to get. Uh, for John, round 61, this way you can get dangerously close to taking that stock. Anything more you get is really nice, and if you can get the stock off, even better. Nice. Catches the pac -Man double jab. Has Sinji off the stage. Okay, how you going to go down? No, not quite. Sinji mixing it up this time around in the air. Um, back in the corner, however. Deep breathing at Tilt. Still not enough to break the hydrogen uh, right away. Missed catch on the landing by Sinji, and it nearly cost him his stock. Okay, absolutely. We're getting into this, and John is still at a very high percent. This is definitely very good on his end. What the heck was that? Oh, yeah, it goes through the stage. What? Yeah, yeah, the Pac Man belt goes through the stage. Oh, wow. Yeah, also since Smash 4. Fun fact. Uh, can you tell I played against this character a lot in Smash 4? <laughs> so, yeah, so this, this, this um, matchup right now, it, it's kind of gone down to the similar choice to where we were at last time. High percent, second stock. This time, even less time left, but the same situation of dying to Hydrant happened to John. He's died to Hydrant three times in a row now. The last stock of game two and the first two stocks of this game, number three. Uh, and again, this this is a, a point where for John, you need to take the stock off very soon. Already puts himself in a good position to do so. Has in GL Edge. What's the mix up? Roll, gonna get caught. F tilt. We were at zero, zero percent. Last stock, one minute 40 on the clock. And this is this is definitely something very good to note about, especially how like John chooses to lead trap a lot of the time. You know he's he's been using that F two, and it's just very good, especially you know with deep breathing on hand on deck. That's definitely really good because a lot of the situations like at that point you can literally just mix up like whether you want to cover normal getup, you want to cover roll, you want to cover jump. At that point, John has the speed and enough of whatever like he's trying to go on with to kind of read and also react to what his opponent is actually doing, which is yeah. definitely very good. It's fast, it's active, um, and it just covers a lot of options. That's what was really huge for John. But with that said, um, John is is camping the ledge, mm -hmm. which you, you should do if you have a percent lead against Pac-Man and there's less than a minute left in the match. However, uh, Sinji is, re is responding here and is getting dangerously close to this percent lead. John gonna take his time with that neutral getup, but Sinji responding, gonna get the percent lead. That's really, really big. Now, now it is on John to respond. I think, honestly, a mistake to camp that early. However, ooh, okay. Oh, that's huge for Sinji. Once again, the percent lead has swapped several times in these past few seconds. 30 seconds, this is going to time. It has to. Unless something crazy happens, this is going to time. Oh, the transcendent hitbox of uh, the of the Galaxian goes through. Oh, Listen, this is... I'm uh, John you. might need to kill Sinji now. 15 seconds left. That's mm -hmm. it. We're getting yeah. it. Yeah, John needs to kill Sinji. We're getting it. I'm waiting. Yeah, that's Eight, it. Sinji's just going underneath the stage. Six, five, time out. Four, Hold on. Hold on. Three. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> See, this is funny to you. I had to do this every time in Smash 4. I suffered. Oh. It paid my dues. Are you still Wait. suffering? Yes! Like that. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm not. I'm just numb to the pain now. It doesn't sound like that. It definitely doesn't look like that either. Look at John. John's so upset. I'm s no, I'm not sorry. Absolutely not. I got my timeout. I've been waiting for my timeout since, like, we came back. Like, let's be completely honest. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah.